back everyone you may be having some issues with your whatsapp account maybe sometimes the photos aren't sending maybe you can't even get into whatsapp maybe it just keeps crashing when you open it there are so many different things that can go on with whatsapp and i'm going to be honest a majority of them may be out of your reach maybe you there's not even a way you can fix it and it may be actually whatsapp you know more, more so facebook their servers may actually be down so how do you even know this well, the first thing that I typically do, and to be honest, this is the thing that helps me out the most to see if it's actually my phone that's the problem or if it's WhatsApp the issue, I will go to the comment section of videos like this. So I'll go to the comment section, I will leave a comment, and I'll go ahead and see if a lot of other people are commenting at the same time. And typically what happens is if there's multiple people commenting at the same time, you sort the comments by the latest comments. If there's like three, four people commenting every minute, Chances are WhatsApp is probably down for everyone and there's nothing really you can do. You're just going to have to wait until, you know, WhatsApp fixes their servers. So that's typically what I do almost every single time I have a WhatsApp issue. That's normally the first thing I do. Now, there are a lot of other errors that come up, but typically if you're having an issue where WhatsApp comes up and it closes out or you're not able to send anything or you just get a connection error problem, typically it may be WhatsApp has the issue and that's the first thing I would recommend looking into. Now, if that doesn't fix it, the next thing I would do is I'll go into your settings panel, whether you have an Android, iPhone, a tablet, whatever, and verify your Wi-Fi or cellular connections. Now, a great way to do this on iPhone is to swipe down from the top or even look at the status bar and see, hey, I have Wi-Fi. Do I not have Wi-Fi? Does it say no service or anything like that? If it typically says stuff like that, then all you have to do is kind of just wait out until you get a good signal or connect to a better cell signal. Those are the main things you can do at that point. And to be honest, that's what I would recommend doing. Maybe some other times where you're connected to a network and it's still not working. If that's the case and you know your servers aren't down or WhatsApp servers aren't down, what I would recommend doing is making your way over to your app store and literally typing in WhatsApp. So find the WhatsApp application, open it up and see if there's an update available for it. Now I just updated the application, so I'm probably not going to get an update right now. So all you need to do is click update and update and make sure your WhatsApp is up to date on one of the more recent versions of software. If it's on a super outdated version of WhatsApp, chances are you're probably going to have to update and you may have already gotten prompts to update your you know, WhatsApp. So all you have to do at that point is update your WhatsApp application. And most of the time, this may actually end up fixing it. If it still doesn't fix it, you may have to go ahead and either restart your phone, delete WhatsApp, reinstall it, and see if that fixes it. And if none of those things fix it, chances are WhatsApp servers are actually down, and you may be one of the first people to actually notice it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.